everyone, for the past year, anytime an automaker has sent me a pickup truck to review, I've taken the opportunity to demonstrate how you go about attaching a tailgate pad to its tailgate and then loading up my mountain bike to show how well it can haul a mountain bike over its tailgate. Throughout the year, for each of these demos, I have used this Dekine tailgate pad that I picked up on the local classifieds for $20. Uh, it's heavily used. It's been modified by its previous owners to fit a Cadillac Escalade EXT. And it's also a size large, so it doesn't make a lot of sense for mid-sized trucks because it's designed for full-size trucks. So now that I've done a few of these reviews and I wanna keep doing them, I reached out to Dekine and they sent me two of these DLX tailgate pads. They offer a few different models on their website, but this is the DLX. Uh, you can see I've got one here in a size small and a size large. So tailgate pad companies call their sizes a variety of different things. None of them really make sense, unfortunately, but you can think of it this way. Every tailgate pad manufacturer makes two different sizes. The smaller of the two sizes is for mid-sized trucks like the Canyon, the Jeep Gladiator, the Chevrolet Colorado, the Toyota Tacoma, the Honda Ridgeline, the Ford Ranger, and the Nissan Frontier. The size large pad, or the larger of the two sizes, is for your full-size trucks. So that's like a Ford F-150, Chevrolet Silverado, GMC Sierra, Ram 1500, Toyota Tundra, and Nissan Titan. This size large pad would also fit any of the heavy-duty trucks like the Ford Super Duty, the Silverado HD, Ram Heavy Duty, etc., because those trucks all use the same beds as their full size or half ton counterparts. Anyway, though, like I mentioned, this is the DLX model. Uh, you can get a variety of different options from Dekine. I chose this one just because it seemed like the most modern and the most universally appealing. You'll notice this one over here is an older model. It's still got a little flap that lifts up here that will ideally give you access to your tailgate handle. But since all truck tailgate handles are kind of located in different positions on the tailgate, this doesn't always line up. Another thing you'll notice, there are these blocks on the sides that sit on top of the tailgate and keep a bike from sliding off to the side. I like that. Then one other thing, this thing has padding not only on the front in the top of the tailgate, but it also provides padding on the back of the tailgate. So it gives you a little extra peace of mind. Uh, the only other notable thing about this one is that it has three straps and they fit through this loop right here. So that's your look at the standard, I guess call it old style of Dekine pad. Here's this modern DLX pad. So you'll notice a couple things. First, it's got a much bigger opening for the handle and it also provides a view for the backup camera. That's a new thing to consider uh, when designing tailgate pads for modern trucks is not only do they have a handle on the tailgate, but they also will have a backup camera somewhere as well. So I was able to position this pad on the Canyon here to allow for access to both the handle and the backup camera. That's pretty cool. Uh, you'll notice this one has four straps as opposed to the old one that had three. And then on the other side, the little clips that the straps slide through have this piece that folds down and then locks the strap in place. Another cool thing about the strap is that it has this plastic coating on it on this new pad. So it's easier to feed through underneath the tailgate and into the bed of the truck. Uh, that's kind of a tricky part of putting on any truck tailgate as I've learned in demonstrating how that one works. Uh, other things, you'll notice there isn't a block of padding that aligns with the top of the tailgate, but in exchange, you get little tie down points for each bike. So on the size small pad here, you get five Velcro loops to allow for you to carry up to five bikes. On the large pad here, you've got seven loops. Other than that though, these pads are pretty much identical. They're just sized a little bit differently. I've played around with this size small pad on the Canyon here. I can say that the ends of the straps are nicer. You get a little more peace of mind being able to lock down the strap. This flap here is nice. I should mention that it can be attached to this little loop right here. So it's got a clip on it. You slot it in there and then you're guaranteed to have a view out of your backup camera. A couple things to note though, this newer style pad doesn't have any padding for the inside of the tailgate. Uh, functionally, I think this pad 
is fine. I just got a little bit more peace of mind though from the old style pad because it had those blocks on the side here that keeps the bike from sliding off. I've actually had an instance with a different pad where a bike slid off on a dirt road and scratched the tailgate of the truck, which is exactly what you want to prevent anytime you're using a tailgate pad. And then on a similar note, some of the other pads out there still have padding on the inside of the tailgate. You'll notice this one does not. This is just uh, thin material right here. So I don't think that will cause any issues, but it is just nice to have that extra padding that you get with some of the other pads. Functionally, these pads will get the job done and they certainly offer access to the handle and the backup camera. They're also a little bit smaller when you fold them up. That one has padding on both the front and the inside of the tailgate. These ones only have padding for the outside and the top of the tailgate. So when you fold them up, stick them in your garage, they're gonna take up a little bit less space. Both retail for $150, regardless of what size you're getting. Uh, like I said, the kind sent these to me for demonstration purposes. So there you go. So I'll be making videos demonstrating the use of this size small pad with both the Canyon and the Jeep Gladiator over there. Uh, stay tuned for those and stay tuned for more pickup truck tailgate pad reviews to come. Thanks for watching.